I was admitted to hospital um, and I had various tests and I was preparing myself for news. I was trying to prepare myself for news that I had a brain tumour. And so when I was told I had a mess, I, I felt numb. I think I felt emotionless. There was just, yeah, I didn't, I didn't have a clue what to think. So I honestly thought they were just going to be like, oh, you've got, I don't know, like a trapped nerve or something. And then when the neurologist came in and they sort of like closed the curtains, all the doctors like sat down and, and I was like, what's going on? <laughs> and he was like, well, there's this thing called multiple sclerosis. <laughs> you have it. <laughs> and I was like, oh my God, like, I didn't know what it was. I burst into tears had a massive panic attack, scared pretty much everyone in the like hospital ward around me because I was like panicking for a good like 20 minutes and I still didn't know what it was so I didn't really know why I was panicking so much but um, it just sounded really bad. I think by the time I was told it was a complete relief. I knew that I had it, I sure. think. I think you just know and for someone to actually tell me that I wasn't going mad was brilliant. How I felt afterwards when it had sort of sunk in was a bit different, but actually when he told me, I was like, thank God for that. Well, um, I was quite relieved when I first found out I had MS. I was pretty pleased because I wasn't crazy. Um, <laughs> I thought that I, I, there was a big possibility that it was just all in my head. I was relieved because all of those months of me failing, starting to fail my degree, yeah. all of the sleeping, the tonic spasms, I wasn't making it up, it wasn't my fault. What I had, had a name, and I could deal with that. The day I was diagnosed, you went to the library, and then you read all these stories, and they say all the worst things, and then you, it does cross your mind once, and then you're like, no, no, I can't think about that. Mm. My, um, my neurologist told me, don't go online. Don't look on the internet. Yeah, it's, a, it's actually <laughs> a, a bad place. I think I was very aware that once I started telling people I had MS, I would never be able to untell them. Mm -hmm. And I think I was nervous that they would always see me as the person with that illness. I made a Facebook status. <laughs> um, oh, really? Yeah, I just said, Chris Nicholson has MS, lol. And <laughs> that was my Facebook status, because um, I couldn't be bothered telling everybody. Whenever I meet people, I've just kind of, it's one of the first things I sort of say. Well, and I figured that I'd get the most support if I told the most people now. In hindsight, whether I do that again, whether I do it so soon, but I think ultimately just getting it out there for me was better. But I don't think you can underestimate how difficult that is for everybody around you as well, like you're going through it, but yeah. certainly my mum, dad, sisters, my boyfriend, like you're all right because you, it's happening to you and you kind of deal with it, but them, I think everyone sort of expects them to get on as normal, when actually I think it can really impact on them as well, which is quite hard. My family took it quite, quite hard. So I spent a fair bit of time comforting them. I said, no, it's not that big a deal, which sort of helped me to, to get a handle on it. So actually, maybe it's not as bad as I think. My parents told literally close family, and then I, I was all right. I told, I told all my friends, and they, they were all right about it. But I, I, it's more my parents that were very reserved about it now. Just to have that little film and to kind of be able to show it to people, like to show it to my mum okay. or to show it to my friends and go, this is what I'm feeling, was really, really helpful. In terms of actual relationships, kind of like the film, where it talks about not having a lot on your plate and not really wanting to start something. I think I'm still really resistant to the idea of getting someone else in my life. I don't feel I can take on the responsibility of having to care for someone or give them some of my time, which I feel like I require. So that's something I've still got to work on. Okay. Now, I don't know what's coming next, even the doctors don't. I might suddenly get worse or Maybe I'll just disappear a bit every day. You know that bit in the film where he was like talking about uncertainty and like maybe he'll just like disappear a bit every day and like that's just how he's going to gradually just get worse and that's kind of what he thought about it. And that's exactly what I was like when I was first diagnosed. I, because I didn't know about it and I just heard about all the possible symptoms and like Googling, which is the worst thing. I kind of was just put, thought of the worst because I had never heard of optic neuritis or like experienced it and I was like right I'm going to go blind, I'm going to lose all the feeling in my body, I'm just, just slowly going to chip away at me like as life goes on. But now like nine months later after like experiencing, I've had optic neuritis since and I've experienced like the loss of feeling in the arms and I've experienced fatigue and everything. I still have that anxiety of it because that has happened, it has sort of chipped away at me. But you do just kind of recover, it's like you go down and then you come back up again. 
the main thing for me is the like uncertainty of it and no one seems to know. How do you deal with that? <laughs> Help! <laughs> yeah. Um, I mean, I think I, you know, when I look back at the, the nine years I've had a mess, um, uncertainty is, it's got to be the biggest challenge I've, I've faced. I think early on I was, I was so, I was so keen to, to, to get answers, to find out that my likely prognosis. So I was asking my neurologist lots of questions and the answer was always, we don't know, or <laughs> it depends. But over time I've, you know, come, come to understand that's, that's the way it is. But for me, not knowing what you're up against, not knowing your enemy, that's been the hardest thing. As soon as I was diagnosed, um, I changed my mentality to more like, get everything you want to get done, not really think about what's going to happen, the bad sides. I, I don't really have too much negativity and I try to block it out. I don't stop life now, um, worrying about something that hasn't happened yet or might not even happen. So take each problem as it comes, when it comes, don't necessarily plan for it. Thank you.